Hello and welcome to Bite Size Movie Gossip here in the hustle and bustle of London's Planet Hollywood. I'm Anna here with this week's top movie and celebrity news. Geek Fest Comic Con has drawn movie stars and fans from far and wide to San Diego. Oh, I love geeks. James Cameron turned up to chat about his now legendary return to directing with the 3D masterpiece Avatar. The act of going to see Avatar is stepping through a doorway into a world that you couldn't imagine. Wow. How will he ever top that? Well, bringing us Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in 3D is a start. Cameron is looking at, and I quote, redimensionalizing the record-breaking blockbuster Titanic. Also at the festival was Batman alumni Gary Oldman, who was eager to promote his new film with Denzel Washington, The Book of Eli. Gary let slip that Christopher Nolan is definitely gearing up to film the new Batman film next year. Now that's a massive secret. Naughty Gary. Let's hope Christian Bale's not watching. He does have a bit of a temper. Don't be naive. Delightful. Cameron Diaz and James Marsden were also there to promote their new thriller, The Box. So, what's it all about, James? If you become rich and someone dies because of it, but you don't know this person, would you press this button? So, Cameron, would you push the button? I can honestly say that money isn't worth it. Easy for you to say, money bags. Bryce Dallas Howard of Terminator Salvation fame is taking over the role of vampire villain Victoria in the Twilight franchise. Come on then, let's see your scary face. Wow, that really is a scary face. Jennifer Love Hewitt is so desperate for a role in a Twilight film, she said she'd even carry around Robert Pattinson's suitcase. Sorry Jen, it might be a bit late for that now. This is the last time you'll ever see me. But don't be too upset. It's hard not to, you know. I know. Another Jenny, this time from the block, has had a bit of a hard time. For one thing, she's hit the point of no return, otherwise known as her 40th birthday. If that wasn't bad enough, the diva had to deal with empty seats at her surprise birthday bash. Fellow singer Alicia Keys was fashionably late, and supposed best buds Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes didn't even turn up. So what happened, Mr J-Lo? You organised it. Oh, um, uh, by virtue of the invitation alone, who invites you, you know? Men. You can't trust them to do anything. One person not making any new friends is Sasha Baron Cohen. The controversial Bruno star is now under personal threat from terrorists after insulting Osama Bin Laden. Maybe he should seek asylum in the US or join the army. You gotta be out of your mind. What type build is that candidate? DMT. What is DMG? Dolce and Cabana, hello. Scratch that. Not the greatest idea. Perhaps fellow Hollywood star Charlize Theron should also watch her back. The blonde bombshell has signed up to make a comic satire about the Middle East called Florence of Arabia. So what made you take this role, Charlie? I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't, I can only speak for myself, but for me as an actor, I don't, I don't look for material that I think is gonna be Oscar worthy. Yeah, Florence of Arabia doesn't exactly sound like an Oscar nominee. Maybe she's going for Sasha's comedy crown. So many actors that are here today kind of raise the bar. And so that makes you as an actor want to go out there and raise the bar even more. Really? Has she seen Bruno? Looks like we might be seeing the Academy Award winner doing some pretty outrageous stuff. Well, that's it from me for now. I'll just get back to my daydreams. <sighs> You're my only reason to stay.